Hi everyone, this is Patty. <clears throat> um, today I want to introduce you to a die from uh, Joycraft. And this is a, a butterfly die. It's called a pop-up stencil, an open-up um, die. It's very different. I, these come from Europe. I think it's uh, the Netherlands, Norway, I'm not sure. But I had not seen a die like this at all. It comes mounted on this, let me take this paper off, on this piece of uh, acrylic. See the acrylic, which is pretty good thickness, and your die is already on it. And I cut my paper to match this piece of acrylic, which happened to be five and a half inches by eleven. And then I cut an outer piece for the outside base of my card that was six by six. So what you do is you run it through your die, and I actually used um this precision plate, base plate from Sizzix, and I put it on that. The only thing is that you have to account for the extra thickness of this, um, this acrylic piece that's on it. So it made it quite tough cranking it through. So do it, uh, try it and see if it works. You, you may have to adjust your base plate on the top and just use some different kind of shims or something so it works with your machine. But it cut beautifully. I left this one in because, <clears throat> excuse me, I wanted to um, show you how it comes out. I hope I don't cough a lot. If I do, excuse me, I've been sick with this stupid upper respiratory virus for the last couple of weeks. And now Paul has it. So um, forgive me if I... <coughs> do that sorry okay here I've peeled the paper off and you can see it's got these little prongs here this is your score lines it will make your score lines on each side and across the bottom and then here is your your butterfly and you just pop out all these little pieces like you always do and I'm not going to take the time to do all of those because you can see how it comes out. And then you fold it here on this base piece here and across the bottom. And what you end up with is this piece here. Now see how it it um, is very dimensional across the back of my cardstock. This is a piece that I just mounted it to. This is, um, what is this? Springtime, something in Springtime by Graphic 45. Um, I saved this little piece so I remember. Um, Once Upon a Springtime Classic Collection. And I used this for the inside, that for the outside. And I made my outer card. And then what I did was I just took, um, the craft tape. I used both the quarter inch and the half inch around these outside edges to tape it to the top. I didn't tape it to the bottom portion because it gives it more flexibility as you close your card. You can see that it'll close right back down in. Now I also took and cut a little piece back behind here. Um, where's my die? this part here, cut a piece so it would go behind these holes and I used some glitter and then it was a little too, excuse me, tealy blue so I ended up using the, um, oh what is that called, it's from Stampin' Up, it's that, um, oh goodness gracious my mind's not with it here, Dazzling Diamonds over the top just to kind of soften the, the teal but I love the dimension to this card. And I really want the emphasis to be on this pop-up as somebody opens it. So what I decided to do, I have this new Spellbinders die. This one is called Arch Elegance Pocket. And you get um, this one that cuts a pocket. This will be great on my minis because you can use it to tuck something down underneath if you put this on a page. The other piece that it cuts are these little corner pieces like this. Well I kind of wanted to make them look like a butterfly on the front of the card here 
So I just folded them, and I'll show you in a minute what I'm going to do. Okay, so I've used this die. I also use my standby favorite. This is Marianne Designs. This is a Creatables. This is Vintage Swirls. And you get both of these swirls. You've seen me use these often. Come on, come apart. They do have a tendency, the little tendrils want to lock around one another. Where's my piece of paper here? But I just love these. Uh, they're just so pretty and they cut out so nicely. I use the precision uh, base plate to cut those out as well. And um, so I use those dies as well. And the last thing I used was another set from Joycraft. This is the um, Clear Stamp Roses. Now what drew me to this is you get all these wonderful frames that you can frame your sentiment. And then you also get all kinds of wonderful sayings, like friendship is um, the breathing rose with sweet in every fold. Where you uh, tend a rose, a thistle cannot grow. Have a beautiful day. A single rose can be my garden, a single person my world. Miss you, warm wishes, hugs and kisses, stop and smell the roses. One rose says more than a dozen. Roses are red. Great, great sentiment package and very, very nice claim. So let's go ahead and finish up this. Um, I talked all the way through this when I first filmed it, but I was so long-winded that I decided that I would fast forward it and then just talk over the top of it and tell you what I've done. I'm going to use one of the stamps from that Joy Craft um, Roses stamp set that I just showed you. And I'm using my Fisker's Punch here and a Versamark. And I'm going to put it in that corner. Uh, this is why I just love that stamp set because it has these beautiful borders. I'm using this uh, Stampendous uh, Vintage again. It's a combination of embossing powders and little glitters and um, kind of stony stuff you can see there. It's really, really pretty. Um, and as you can see, I'm on camera, so I'm making a, a terrible mess of the whole thing. And the thing with these is you heat them from underneath, and I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up as I heat it, uh, if you can see. Yeah, a little bit. You can see as it changed. This was the perfect color combinations to go with my, my paper here and not distract from it. Really pretty. I should have used my... Um, uh, embossing buddy with it so I didn't have all those little pieces of glitter here and there but that's okay. I'm going to use the Archival Brilliance uh, Jet Black and this stamp set and I'm a little off camera and it says I have a beautiful day just down there in the corner and that worked perfect. Now I kind of want to finish up the outside of my card Oh, I forgot to tell you, I used the Fisker's Punch, or excuse me, Martha Stewart Punch on the corners on the inside had this little strip that I trimmed from the outer piece when I cut it for my card base. And I'm going to use the opposite side, the one with the butterflies like I used on the inside. I cut a piece of white that's just a, oh my goodness, an eighth of an inch or so on each side of it just to make it pop a little bit. And then I have those corners that I told you that I folded. I'm going to use some Scotch Quick Dry Glue. Um, decided I'd use the Angel Craft Tape on this just to tape the top and the bottom. I left the middle open because I couldn't decide whether I wanted to put those corner pieces on the top or underneath this little strip part. I ended up putting them on top but I kind of wanted it to look like a butterfly and I don't think I achieved my my goal but that's okay. It ended up looking pretty by the time I got done anyway. So I'm just trying to find my placement and here's those um, flourishes that I cut from that Marianne Creatables and I'm going to trim this one, the bottom part and a little bit off of the top because you only get the two dies and there's no way to reverse it and have a right and a left so I'm just improvising. Then I had that little Prima flower in my stash that was just the perfect color combination so I'm going to glue down these little I'm still calling it a butterfly wing you have to have a little bit of stretch to your imagination here, but that's okay. Oh, and I wanted to tell you again, what I'm telling you there is that when I glued that inside portion down, the pop-up butterfly, that you don't glue behind the center of it because it has those little prong things that make it pop out about a quarter of an inch. 
And when I had first put it down, I had put glue there, not realizing that that was going to extend it that way. So just a, a hint to the wise when you do it to make sure that you only put your glue on the outer perimeter and not right behind the, the butterfly part that's going to pop out. See, I kind of wanted these to look like the antenna of the, of the butterfly. Maybe. I don't know. And then my pretty little flower in the middle. That one didn't want to stick. So I'll put it back down there again. And here we are. There's my card. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Have a great crafty day. Be sure and hit the like, subscribe, and comment. Bye-bye.